हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर म्यूजियम द ब्रांड न्यू स्पैंकिंग डिजिटल रेवोल्यूशनरी म्यूजियम दैट हैज बीन मेड टू ऑनर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ इंडिया बोथ पास्ट एंड प्रेजेंट ऑल राइट बट जोक्स अपार्ट इट्स प्रिटी वेल मेड वेरी नाइसली मेड देर इज एन अशोक चक्र ऑन द टॉप ऑफ दिस स्ट्रक्चर हियर विच इज विजिबल फ्रॉम there and that is teen murti bhavan it used to be a only nehru museum but uh, now it's been uh, uh, you know upgraded and it still houses mostly uh, jawaharlal nehru's memorabilia and indira gandhi's uh, childhood uh, room and uh, other uh, you know nehru artifacts but the best part about that uh, old building is the tosha khana which is the gift Uh, rooms so uh, there the gifts that have been given to india by diplomatic uh, uh, by countries with whom we have diplomatic relations uh, that is one of the most interesting exhibits that i have seen in uh, indian museums because it gives a very nice glimpse of uh, world culture of uh, nations around the world and how they have uh, uh, you know sort of made it uh, interacted with our uh, nation and uh, obviously benefited mutually <laughs> from the uh, <coughs> brotherhood that has been formed but i will say we went for the selfie with pm walk with pm and we are waiting for our turn on the uh, ride into the future on a helicopter and i think we might have uh, virtual reality headsets on for that but i'm not sure about that so this is kind of my intro uh, to this tour of the pm museum let me tell you right now that uh, videography is not uh, really allowed inside although some people you know they do it mera bharat mahan we also did a that reminds me we also did a feedback wall thing in which you uh, scribble your message on the ipad that is uh, attached in front of the huge wall screen and uh, your message will show up along with your selfie and your name uh, on the wall so uh, i guess i will try and insert those pictures uh, into this video if i you know get around uh, uh, if i get time to ed- edit it uh, but as usual i think this will be uh, you know a couple of clips of me uh, this is the central lawn so lots of people are chilling out in the sun uh, because right now it's still bearable it's not very hot right now but it's going to get hot pretty fast pretty soon so might as well uh, you know enjoy it while it lasts <laughs> uh, the timings and all you can check out on the website um, i think the last ticket if you buy it from here is sold at 430 or something the museum itself closes at 6 and uh, i suggest you do everything uh, online i suggest you book your uh, uh, add ons like the photo that i talked about and the walking with the pm and this vr helicopter ride into the future ride uh i suggest you book them all online through the official website the official website works no uh, you know no hassles there there is a, a digital uh, print out that you will get you can store it on your phone we didn't face any problems we just uh, showed the all the staff are quite friendly and uh, i mean what do you expect they just have to guide people through and wave <laughs> at people not to touch stuff so i guess they are uh, uh managing well and uh, i love these uh you know flowers i mean it's very well maintained very nicely uh, it's uh, also uh, wheelchair accessible of course we know that because we have got along advitya our baby daughter in a stroller and that right there is the ramp <laughs> so uh, next to the stairs so very nice uh, museum i would say a good experience and uh, uh, there were a couple of glitches uh, for example the floating uh ashoka emblem uh, is not working the electromagnets that uh, keep it hovering in the air are broken so that wasn't working and uh, also i would obviously like to see uh, all these digital interactive touch screen things maintained as they are because right now it's pretty new so i will say <laughs> that come and experience it although already one of the ipads was uh, showing a network error it was working everything was fine but at the end when you submitted your feedback for the feedback wall it said network error so uh i would say that 
it's india sooner or later things will degrade no matter how much maintenance they do so it's best to experience it as early as you can and uh, i would say that if you are really interested in indian history then you should take at least at least a couple of hours maybe more to explore all the rooms which have that digital uh, constitution in various languages i think all the uh, national languages of india and uh, and then there is uh, like i said these uh, uh, digital technology uh, you know uh, exhibits which showcase digital technology and uh, overall very nice so i will give you a glimpse of the ashok chakra on top of this building from the museum when we are getting out uh, and smash that sub button for awesome acts fun